welcome to Sling Studio. In this video, we'll give you a quick tour of the user interface for Sling on an iPad. So you can see on the left there are the four video sources. These are cameras. And then in the upper right is the preview window. And then on the bottom right is the program window. So you can tap a video source to move it into preview, or you can drag it into preview. A couple of ways to get the preview to go into program is you can tap the preview to program button or you can double tap any of your video sources, or you can drag the video source directly into program. Instead of cutting, you can change the transition to dissolve or to wipe over here. And underneath, you can see you change the duration of the transition on this slider. So let's take a look at the settings. You can see that we've already created a project and selected the video quality. Uh, you can change the video source bitrate and program output bitrate over here. Those will be split if you're live broadcasting. You can also select your recording options. You usually will select program to record. You can also select any of the video sources so that you can record all of those. And you can select uh, to record a quad view, which will show four inputs in one window. If you're going to web stream it, you need to select a destination for broadcast. Uh, in this case, we select YouTube. And inside that window, you'll be able to set up a new event. This one uh, we are already have titled. And you can also set the privacy. Now we're going to open up the audio mixer so you can see some of the options here. You can take each input as a separate audio input, and you can mute those or have audio follows video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mute those and then just select the mixer source uh, for our external mixer that we're bringing audio in on. You can have up to 10 video sources, but only four that are active on that left screen. So you can see here that we have the four cameras. And if I want to replace them, I can drag over a video or another camera. And it'll just replace it in that left pane. So now that you have new active video sources, you'll see the inactive ones that you could pick later or over here in this second column. And we can also bring graphics in to use in your show. So we're going to bring uh, in a bug. So this is a full page graphic. You can bring it in and resize it and move it around. You can also save all the changes so it's ready to go in that configuration when you select it again. There's already some lower third graphics that are made, and you can bring those in, and those are editable. You can change the font and the color of the lower third graphic. There's also a score box that's created already for sports, so you can add the team names, and it's a template that allows you to change the score very easily by hitting the plus or minus to change the score. There's also a split screen option, so if you go into the split screen, you can bring in multiple sources that will appear all together on your program. Once you bring those in on the preview, you can resize them and move them around and then save them for later as well. There are several compositions, one with two inputs, one with three, and one with all four. There's also a picture-in-picture. -picture. When you're ready to start your show, you'll hit the record to start recording your program to the SD card. And if you're going to go live, there's a go live button and that'll send your program over the internet from the stream that you set up. There's also a replay function that's very useful for sports. So you can go into the replay settings and set uh, how long you want the playback to be. And you can also set the speed of the playback. When you're ready to do a replay, hit the replay button there in the bottom left of program and it'll back it up and replay whatever was in program for whatever time you've designated. For more information and tutorials, go to myslingstudio.com.